Guys, today I'm gonna try and make you understand logarithms. Hey guys, Victoria here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about logarithms, which is a chapter in at Maths Form 4. So I'm going to make this the first video in the three videos that I'm doing. And this video is going to be about logarithms. The next one will be on indices. I'm covering logarithms before indices because some questions in indices actually use logarithms as well. So I'm doing logarithms first. So first of all, what I want to drill into your mind is the fact that logarithm is not hard. So when I was in Form 4, I used to find logarithms to be very difficult as well. And I didn't understand anything and I didn't understand why we have to learn log. But then when I finally understand it, it was really pretty simple. I hope I can make you understand logarithm with these three videos. But first off, what you need for this video is a pen and paper. You need both of these before you proceed with this video. There's no point if you're watching this video without actually doing like hands-on because you won't be able to get anything. So pause this video, go get a pen and a paper and come back. So now that you're back with your pen and paper, we'll start learning log. So like anything else when it comes to learning, we have to first learn the definition of something before we actually learn it. So the first part will be on the definition of logarithm. And also just a reminder, please make sure that you're taking notes throughout the video on what you think is important, which is basically everything. So make sure you're taking notes. So first off, these two are the definitions of logarithm. But then you have to remember either one only, like you have to know how to convert from this to this and vice versa. So from this to this and this to this, you have to know both. But then usually I like to convert from this to this. So of course, when you're seeing all the letters here, you'll be confused. So I'll be explaining by using this example. The example here is to convert from this format to this format. So what I want you to remember is, you see there are three things here. So we have one, two, and three. Just remember that the center one is the king. Okay. So the king doesn't move, the king just remains there. So this moves down, the tree will still remain the same. But then, this is a small one, the small seven and the big x. So what you need to remember is the small one will become the big one and the big one will become small here, it's a reverse. So now, tree equals, you just bring down. And then seven used to be small, so it's going to be big. And then this x is big, it's going to be small here. And there you have it, you, can, you have converted this to this. I'll give you another example. Like let's say you have k this, log 3, 7 equals to 4. So there are three things here, the middle one, so there are three things here. The middle one is the king, so it remains, and it will be 7. The small becomes big, big becomes small, so this becomes big, and here it's small. And there you have it, the answer. So just now I said before that you only have to remember either one of it, so what I taught you to do is from this to this. So what if now you're given this, and you're asked to convert it into logarithm form? So it's exactly the same thing by reverse. So this 8 is big, so it has to be small, and then this small has to be big, and this is the king that doesn't, doesn't move, okay? So log big has to be small, so you put 8 here, and then 5 was the king which doesn't move, so you put 5 here. And then x from small to big. So if you change from this format to this format and you're not sure of your ways, whether it's correct or not, then you can just check the answer by using the method that I used just now. So this is the center. So this always remains the same. 5. And then this small will become big and big will become small. So 8x. Okay. 
since these two are the same that means the answer is correct so now you should know how to you should understand the definition of log you should be clear about these two things before you proceed if you still don't understand then pause this video for a little bit and then just try to do it by yourself hands on and see if you can get all the things here if you have fully understood the definition of logarithm then now we'll proceed with three important things that you have to know before you do logarithm questions okay so these are the three important things that you need to know so the first one is log a1 is 0 and a could be any number so let's say you have log 21 1 is 0 log 301 1 is also 0 log anything 1 is 0 so the next two are quite related that means when you see log a and a you can just cancel off so let's say you have log 3 3 log 3 3 you can cancel off of equals to 1 and then you, if you have log 2 2 will be also equals to 1 so if you have log log 5 4 so log and log 5 will cancel off and it will equal to 4 conclusion is if you see 2 log and 1 number you can cancel off become 1 and if you see 1 log and 2 same number you can cancel off also so if at this point you are not sure that you can memorize these 3 things it's okay but you have to make sure that you understand okay log whatever 1 is 0, log AA is 1, all these you have to make sure that you understand. And also make sure that you are taking notes as you are watching this video. So write down these three and then write down the examples so that you make sure when you are reading back the notes you will understand. You don't need to really force yourself to remember all these because as you do a lot of questions it will just come naturally to you. So next we'll proceed with the laws of logarithm. There are three laws. These are the three laws of logarithms. So log axy equals to log ax plus log ay. And all these, there are three of them. And then because it's very difficult to understand and to explain by using all these unknowns, I'll be explaining using this question right here. So this question is actually a favorite SPM question. Most of the past years are asked in the style of this. And this question is actually solved by applying these three laws of logarithms. So the question is to express this in terms of a and b and they give you these two things to use. So the very first step here, it can be done by applying the first law. So when log a something multiplied by something, you can actually separate it, put log on both sides and it becomes plus. This is what I'm going to do to the question here. So log c, x square, you just write x square. And then from multiply, if you want to make it to plus, you have to add log. So you add log c again, square root y. So this is using the first law here. And then the one below the, the dividing line, the one below the dividing line, if you want to make it to minus, from divide to minus, you have to add log as well. So write minus, log C again, and then this. Oh, this is actually a small tree. So now you have converted it from the dividing form to plus and minus. This is the first step. Whenever you see something locked together like this and they ask you to express it in terms of something and something, then you have to make sure that it's not in like the division form and multiplication form. What you want is the addition and subtraction. So the first step is done. You have the addition and subtraction right here. This is your first step. So whenever you see the square root signs like this, always make sure that you change it to another form because the square root, it's really hard to perform anything with the square root. So square root is actually equal to 1 over 2. 
So you can cancel the square root and write 1 over 2 here. Square root gone, you just write y and then 1 over 2. Okay, now the next step is done by applying this last law. So in log, if you want to solve logarithm, you have to make sure that all these power things are gone. It has to be power of 1 only and not of 2. So how do you get rid of these two here? of the two here you have to apply the last law which is basically means that you have to move the two in front of the log and then the x will be multiple of one only so you move two in front and then you can move one over two in front and you move three in front as well so now you move these two in front so you get Then you minus 3, move to the front, log C, C. So remember what I said about the important things that you have to remember for logarithms. One of it is to cancel the log and log and then it becomes 1. So here is the one, log C and C, you can actually cancel this. So it will become 1. And now you can refer to the equation that they gave you here. Now we can sub inside. So this is 2. And then log Cx is equal to A. So A. And then add 1 over 2. Log Cy is B. And then this 3. So the answer will be 2A plus 1 over 2B minus 3. Okay, so you, if you did this along at home and then you can get this answer, then it's really great because this is a very popular SPM question. It comes out like almost every year in every single paper. So, it, so it's really great if you can solve this. There are three last things that you need to take note of when it comes to logarithms and they are the ones. It's how to change base in log. So in log, sometimes you have to change base to solve because you are given in different base and then the base provided in the question is different so you have to change base and it's important to take note that the log in the calculator the log button in the calculator is log 10 okay so usually when we change base we change to log 10 because we can actually do the calculations on calculator so the first example that i'm giving here is log 5 4 and we'll change this to base 10 because usually we'll change to base 10 as is the one in the calculator we can actually calculate out the value so log 5 4 you want to change to base 10 so you just log 10 and then the one the bigger one will be on top so 4 will be on top right 4 here and then below this it will be log 10 as well so log 10 and then this smaller one will always be below. So 5. Say the question is just to solve this. Then your answer will be log 10 4 divided by log 10 5. So you just press in your calculator. Log 4 divided by log 5. Answer will be 0 0.861. Log 5 4 divided by log 5. And you're done. The next one here is for changing the base when it comes to 1 over something. So you have log 5, 4 and you want to change the base. Maybe you want to change it to log 4. So you can just 1 over. The 4 is big here so you make it to small. Come log 4 and then 5 becomes big. It's as simple as that. This is just like part of a long question. This is one of the techniques that you can use to solve the question. So I've covered all the basic things that you need to know in order to solve logarithm questions. Taking notes and following along as I'm saying this, then good, you're doing great. If you've understood fully everything that I've said just now, then now we can proceed into the three types of log questions.